Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Tonight I'm out under the carport and uh, we're going to do a little review of before and after of uh, an LED headlight upgrade for the wife's van. It's one of the few things I don't care for with this van. I'm not a big uh, fan of how the halogen lights look anymore and uh, the LED lights or HID even, I like the looks of them a lot better and I like the performance of them a lot better. So. I've been looking for some LED bulbs to swap out in this thing ever since I swapped the ones out in the Tahoe and I really liked them and uh, had a company reach out and uh, figured I'd give them a shot. So we got these headlights, headlight high and low beams for or from Auto One and uh, we're going to open them up, see how they look, The uh, they look to be packaged fairly well. and. Uh, we're going to do a before and after as far as performance goes once it gets dark. So uh, let's get at it. The high and low beams both use H8 sockets in this thing. So we got two different types to try out and see how we like it. Both are a white color, a 6000K rating, packaged fairly well, and very simple. The bodies are very small. This should be a direct plug and play replacement for the halogen bulbs we've currently got. This is the 10SF series in this box here. In this box here, let's see here. Oh, it's up this way. We've got the 10S series. Again, these will be direct replacements. They're packaged nice. Do like the packaging. And uh, yeah, should be plug and play. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little comparison before and after and uh, see how they work. I'd venture to say we'll like them, but uh, yeah. I'll also, I'll also post up the specs of each of these lights and a link to the website uh, where we got them in the video description. But anyways, as you can tell, it is uh, still fairly light out. So I'm going to give it a little bit, let it get dark. We'll swap these out and uh, see what we think. It's, uh, it's still fairly light out, but uh, we'll go on and do a little test with the halogen bulbs. Got our low beams, our high beams. They work fairly well. I mean, in all honesty, they're brighter than a lot of things that uh, I've got around here. <laughs> but uh, I don't like the yellow appearance. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get them changed out and uh, see the difference. I'm going to put the SF series, which are the 12,000 lumen bulbs in the low beams, and then the S series, which are 18,000, either 16 or 18,000 lumen bulbs. I'm gonna put those in the high beams. We'll see how they do. So that is the low beam on the left and the right halogen. Much brighter light output so far, and uh, I really like the crisp white light. So uh, yeah, we'll get them all changed out, and we'll uh, go for a little drive. A 
I think that'll do. We'll go for a drive and see how it looks on the road. We are back. Um, overall, pretty happy with them. They're nice and bright. Uh, they were a direct fit. No modifications needed. Uh, the bulb housings are fairly small and compact. The bulbs are put in the high beam housings. Do have a fan built onto them, but there's plenty of room for them to fit. Um, yeah, we will see how these hold up in the long run. I'll uh, give it a few months of daily use and uh, let you guys know but so far I am pretty happy with them again that is uh, auto one a u t o o n e so uh, I'll leave links in the video description so check them out but uh, yeah I think it gives the look of the van a much uh, cleaner more luxurious look if you would but uh, yeah they do have some new bulbs coming out so I'm going to try and check those out as well in the future, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anywho, the uh, light output, uh, considering they're in halogen housings, it's good. It's good. No complaints. Cutoff line is fairly straight. It isn't perfect, but neither were the halogen bulbs that were in there. Um, I wasn't getting flashed out on the road or anything else. I did pass a few cars. Nobody seemed to be bright lighting me or anything. So I don't think glare is an issue. But uh, yeah, these uh, should work out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to try and get the fog light bulbs for this as well. Um, they didn't have them when I got these for the highs and the lows. But uh, they were in production. So we'll see about that here real soon. Anywho, I'm going to wrap this up. Check the video's description for the links. I'll leave links to everything I used, details on the bulbs, everything as far as that goes in the video description. Also, if you want to merch, Black Diesel Gear, check out www.notsograndgarage.com. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out quite a bit and doesn't cost you anything. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.